Hello, welcome to Radiotech. This channel is dedicated to teaching young programmers how to be creative, how to learn coding, how to learn programming step by step. In our previous lesson, we learned how we can create create variables within Python. Notice that when you create variable, you can easily store just a single var variables. How do you con uh, create list of values? Let's say a friend. You create a list of your friends. How then do we do that? We can easily do that using list, and that is exactly what we are going to do in this lesson. So I want to start creating a list. So this is going to be a list of my friends. So I can say friends, and to create a list, you use the square brackets. So within the square bracket, I can start typing the names of my friends. So the first name I'll type will be Matthew. That's my junior brother, Matthew, and I can also type another. I also have William so they are my brothers and I can go ahead and add few other names to this list few other names to this list. I could have Eugenia sorry this is a string so it's supposed to be what quotation so this is Eugenia I could have also Rebecca I could have Jennifer as well. So this is a list of friends. How then do I print this out to the user? I want to print the list of my friends. I can just see print. And let's see print friends. And let's see so if I run this code notice i've printed the list of my entire friends. But remember the list of friends we have here are individual list i do individual names within my list so i can target and print out just that particular individual how do i do that i can just say print and then my list and then i have to target the index so if i say index zero remember indexing of list start as zero so Matthew is as index zero william as index one emmanuel and index what two and in our order so if i run this code right now you notice that i'll come back here and i run this code notice i've printed out what matthew because matthew is at in this what zero if i put in one day i can print out what william and in that order assume i have in this what three i have in this four sorry i'll print out rebecca how do i print in this five that is Jennifer. If I put five over there, I'll print out for Jennifer. So basically, that's how we can print from a list. We can also delete from a list. How do we delete from a list? In this case, we can say friends dot pop. This pop keyword will delete the last value from the list. If I run this code, you see. I have deleted Jennifer from the list. So this actually means that Jennifer has been deleted. So if I go ahead and print this list again, Jennifer wouldn't be part of this list. So I can say print out and I'll call my list. If I run this code, notice that Jennifer is not part of the list. I can use the same procedure to also add a new person to my list. So we can easily say we want to append a new person to this list so if i use friends dot append if i'm pendant maybe i want to add jennifer back to the list so i'll go and say jennifer forgive me for my typo for jennifer and i print this out jennifer has actually been added to this list if I go ahead and print out this list again, print out this list of so friends around this code, notice that Jennifer is back to the list. We can do several things with the list. Let me do a couple more of changes, then we can't end with this lesson. I want to also be able to delete a friend from a list we can delete by targeting the particular friend we want to delete from the list so assuming i want to delete 
Eugenia from the list, I can go ahead and say friends dot what remove remove and then in this case I have to target the person's name and I said I want to delay Eugenia so I'll delete Eugenia and then if I run this code Eugenia has been deleted so how do we check if Eugenia has been deleted let me just copy this for the sake of time and then paste it here and run this code and see actually you can see Eugenia in this list so you can do several things from this list so if I print out this list like I said we have a list without Eugenia we can also I use the pop keyword to delete Jennifer from the list we can also print some range of members or individual elements within our list so if I go ahead and say print and I call friends dot and within this sorry this is square bracket so we can see from maybe from the first, from the second person remember indexing start as what indexing will start at zero so if I'm saying one that means I'm starting from one to the end of the list I can easily print from there if I run this code, I'll get the list from William, which is in this one, and print up to the end of my list. There are several things we'll be doing with lists, and we can easily sort our values as well. How then do I sort this value? I want them to print it in alphabetical order. I can see friends dot what sort. So within this, I can just say. I can okay so I can sort this list out after doing this I can print it out if I print this list notice values will be sorted in alphabetical order friends here and then run this code notice now it's in alphabetical order Imano, Jennifer, Matthew, Rebecca in that order within Python there are several things we can do with Python and then this tutorial is becoming longer and i'll end it over here in our subsequent lesson we go details into list there are several things we can do and i believe if you subscribe to this channel it will do you a lot of favor and you can learn a lot from agiotech thank you so much for viewing this lesson and this tutorial